Lesson 7. Currents. Section 7.3. Continuity of current. Suppose an open surface S, and a current of density J flowing through S. An open surface has one or more boundary curves, like the red line in this figure. DS is a differential surface element normal to S. The differential current DI that flows through DS is the inner product of J and DS. The current I across the surface S is the area integral of the differential current J DS over S. Next, let's suppose that CS is a closed surface. A closed surface has no boundary curves. Vol is the volume inside CS. Then the amount of current flowing into the volume is the same as the amount coming out of the volume. The net current flowing out of CS is zero. To emphasize that the area integral is over a closed surface, the integral is written with a circle on the integral symbol. Then, let's assume that a charge of Q coulombs is added into volume. The net current coming out of the closed surface is equal to the decrease in the net charge inside vol. And the term Q is expressed as an integral of the net charge density over volume. Rho is the net charge density inside volume. Next, let's consider a differential volume dV. Inside dV, there are net positive charges. Cs is the closed surface of dV, and vol is the volume of dV. Both sides are divided by dV. The left-hand side is the definition of the divergence of J. The right-hand side represents the change of charge in the local region. If this term is positive, it means that net positive charges are coming out of dV. This is the continuity equation for current. By inserting the relationship between J and D, we obtain a divergence of D. According to section 5.1, divergence of D equals rho. Thus, we obtain this differential equation. Exercise 7.3.1 Pause the video, and answer the problem. Solve the differential equation and find the time constant. Exercise 7.3.1 By assuming that the solution is in this form, where A and B are constants. B can be obtained as shown in this equation. Under the given initial condition, A is derived as rho zero. Thus the charge density rho is given by this equation. Tau is the time constant. It is expressed by this equation. In the case of the given conductor, the time constant is on the order of 10 to the power of negative 19 seconds. This means that if a cluster of electrons is placed into a conductor, this net charge cannot remain within the conductor and instantly is distributed evenly over the surface. This is the end of the answer to exercise 7.3. Even if a set of electrons is input into a differential volume dV in a conductor, it disappears in a very short period of time. The right-hand side of this equation instantly goes to zero. Therefore, the continuity equation implies that J can neither disappear nor appear. This equation is equivalent to Kirchhoff's current law. The amount of current flowing into the volume is the same as the amount flowing out of the volume. This is an illustration of Kirchhoff's current law. The net current leaving a junction of conductors is zero. Exercise 7.3.2
Pause the video and answer the problem. Show that the divergence of J equals 0. The answer to exercise 7.3.2. Pause the video and check the answer. Exercise 7.3.3. This is your homework. Pause the video and answer the problem. Show that the divergence of J equals 0. This is a brief summary. In this lesson, we learned about the continuity of current. The author of this material is Takeshi Furuhashi, Professor Emeritus, Nagoya University. If you have any questions, send emails to this address.